Hi guys, it's Sam and Mike here from Balance My Hormones. Um, today's topic that we're going to talk about is um, types of TRT. Um, we know TRT is the use of uh, therapeutic testosterone um, in men or women um, to restore levels to a level that gives symptomatic relief. So you'd be treating hypogonadism or testosterone deficiency, um, but there, there are various ways to administer it uh, to patients. So types of TRT, what do we have? We've got topical TRT. Okay. We've got uh, lozenges for women, mm -hmm. but that's more for HRT. Mm -hmm. We have injectables for men, mm -hmm. and those are the com most common types. So with topicals, I think the the general consensus from I think most of the community is that they don't work. You know, we 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 have that. Oh, I, I tried them and um, uh, they didn't get my levels up, or I was covered in gel or covered in a cream, and there was a transfer risk. So, but there are a few types on there. So yeah, so the most common type most people think of it's one of the andro gels or the commercially prepared gels. Yeah, yeah. And so when you mention topical to people, sometimes they'll want to shy away. They say it's not reliable. Yeah. I can't trust it. It might rub off. I might have it transferred to a partner. Yeah, a pet, a child, <laughs> yeah, a baby, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah. So yeah. for those reasons, people tend not to want to use them. Mm. But there's something different, and something that's been out for about over twenty years that I had tried when I first started TRT, or near yeah. near to the time when I restarted TRT. Yeah, it's it's a cream, mm -hmm. but the, not all the creams are the same either. It's a special cream with a special formulation yeah. of a very um, lipidome type base, highly absorbable, mm -hmm. and the concentration makes a difference. So mm. most testosterone gels are maybe 2%, 5% at the most. These gels are much higher than, than that in concentration. Yeah. And the other benefit is with the cream, it works better on the scrotum. Okay. So you might ask, well, why would I want to put it on my scrotum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but the scrotal skin absorbs uh, better. Yeah. And it also allows for more of a production of dihydrotestosterone. That's the metabolite of testosterone. So DHT, DHT, DHT. Yeah. So, so that's good for libido for men that maybe don't produce as much DHT from their testosterone. Could be an option, possibly. Yeah. So, um, so some men may not get the natural rise in dihydrotestosterone from just injections. Mm. And for those men, uh, high concentration cream applied scrotally mm. seems to do the job. But the amount, isn't it, that this is what I, when I first started, you know, TRT, you know, years ago, I, I, you know, I read the forums, I, I, you know, I read about Androgel, Testogel, Test, Testosterone, Testim, whatever, you, whatever the branded ones were. So I bought into that a little bit and, you know, I was looking at those energy gel size sachets that you've got to lather all over your, your body, on your chest and your shoulders. And then you said to... It's so weak, you have to like apply it to massive areas to get absorption. You need a large yeah. surface area for it to absorb properly, and then you have to let and wait to uh, let yeah. wait and let it dry. Yeah, stick into your t-shirt, can't go in the swimming yeah. pool. Uh, unless you have a doctor from Belgium that will apply to your forehead, and then really? make you wait. Yeah, we had a, really? we had a client actually with a cream that will apply to your forehead, wait till it dries, oh, and then you enough. put uh, cover up a moisturizer on it. <laughs> <laughs> so. But the difference is between those. Uh, weaker branded ones, I suppose, is is the one that's made at a high enough strength can be yeah. used in 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 the correct base that absorbs is a small amount. Right? A small amount. Yeah. I mean, the size of a coke can. Um, that's that's the that's the tube. The, the, yeah. So the, the 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 amount. Well, the size of the coke can is the area right. that you might need to apply it to. Uh, okay. That's the size. That yeah. You, that you would so that's why scrotum works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a smaller area. And okay. It will absorb better. Yeah. Okay. I know some of the women's hormones, progesterone, uh, biased estrogen, things like that, can be provided topically as yeah, well. But yeah. But obviously, right. they wouldn't be applying to the scrotum. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but I the doctor may ask them to apply to the labia, yeah. which, which would be to get good absorption. Get the good absorption rate there as well. Okay. So, so uh, if using, I think uh, you know. For TRT, you do need the correct type of topical for it to work, really. I think and, and it has to fit your lifestyle. Yeah. If you're one who doesn't like to apply things twice a day or even mm -hmm. once a day, or have to worry if you 
don't have your tube or your pot or, or yeah. your pump with you, yeah. then it might not be for you. Mm. If you if you can't bring it with you where you go, yeah. um, or if you're worried that if you uh, sweat too much close to the time of application, you should yeah. reapply, then maybe that, that's not the right one for you. But if, if you don't mind doing those things, it could be just fine, works out. Um, uh, very affordable. It's, uh, it's yeah. quite affordable, and it, it can work out where um, just it's just good for your your regimen. Yeah. I actually think if I had a lot of anxiety around the injections, you know, when I was taught how to do them and shown how to do them every time, it was it was a bit of an episode, and you know, anxiety being a common symptom, you know, of, of low testosterone, had that whole sort of perfect storm of it happening. I mean, I and I do that. I regimentally shower. You know, I train. I shower on you know a daily basis. So it probably would have suited me really well. With hindsight, probably would have started off with the cream. Yeah. I was stuck in that, that mindset. And how many how many men have we seen that were in that different mindset and now, now are just feeling great? Well, we had men that started on injections, even though they couldn't yeah. tolerate the injections. And so mm -hmm. having the cream mm -hmm. of this of this type makes a huge difference, and they're mm -hmm. able to to enjoy life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So topicals, that's topicals. Join us on our next video. Um, we'll talk about our next topic. Um, but we'll speak to you later. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.